Welcome to a really ambitious zombies video where over the next 47 minutes, I'm going to be beating every version of Mob of the Dead ever released in one video. We're talking Black Ops 2, we're talking about Blood and Black Ops 4, and every other remake and remaster in between. Now, this video took quite a while to make, so if you want to spare one second to leave a like if you enjoy this video at any point, that would be really nice. I'd love to know your favourite of the dead map in the comments below, and if this video gets enough love, then I'll definitely make another video like this going over every single Easter egg from the last 12 years of of zombies. So if you like the sound of that, just let me know. To get comfy with a drink and a snack, my beverage being G Fuel, which you can get a discount on with code Dalek in the description below, let's kick it off with one of the best maps ever made, Mob of the Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most perfect zombies map ever seen, my friends. Mob of the Dead, I'm so excited to do this with me and my boy, Codename Pizza, the best zombies map ever. Not the best Easter egg, but still a fantastic map. Let's get into it. Also, I'm the weasel, which means I'm infinitely better and I have more health at the end. So pizza's going down. I'm infinitely better than pizza. I also have way more health. So that's automatically yeah. unfair. Are we doing something special for the final takedown? Uh, we could do. I'd like to mix it up. Raygun versus Raygun. I like that. Uh, <laughs> Riot Shield. <laughs> okay. Like immediately I'm thinking like two box. Maybe like a around 25 maybe. Yeah, we could do that. Two box. Two box would actually be fun. Oh, let's do that. Then then it's fair for the lockdown. But we would have to get rid of the blunder guy at the end. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Hey, first dog done on round two. You love to see it. Right. Let's go into afterlife and get ourselves... The good old oh. warden's key. All right, pizza's dealing with Brutus. I'm just dealing with all these zombies. Oh, look at that. Can't complain there. Oh my God, another insta-kill? RN Jesus. Man, I wish all zombie maps had such amazing music like that. Like, oh. It's by the MP5 well, off the wall. And let's go pay the warden's office a little visit, shall we? We need to start working on the other dog heads. We've got the roof and we also got near the docks. I just can't stress enough how much I love this map. This map, it just never gets old. It never gets boring. It's always, it's always so much fun to play. Something to do all the time. Okay, first hit in the box. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Oh, death machine. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I am not sure. Go down anymore. Yeah, you know what? It's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy for my liking. Right, mystery box hit number two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it? Oh, if only this was Warzone. The foul. The foul. Uh, not great. Not the best of weapons. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, look at this beauty, boys. Finally, I finally have a good weapon. We also need the acid gat kit built because this thing's good, but it's not the acid gat. Oh, no. The max ammo. No. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen, in what is easily one of the best little sequences in any zombies map ever. Like what beats flying on a plane to the Golden Gate Bridge. It's just so cool. John, that max ammo was a big rip. I know it was a big massive rip. rip. I think you will never find out what I have. Okay. Until the final moment. I'm not, I'm not letting it slip. I'm not gonna oh! use it at all. I just got you bopped go. by the Brutuses. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's not fair. You know what? I'm, I'm getting up and I'm leaving. Oh, first hit of the box. I got the ray yeah. gun. Oh, dude, nice. Big place. I got the ray gun, boys. My second box so hit, by the way. It uh, so teddied good, the box, so we'll decide my fate. Blunder gat. Mate, got the blunder gat. Oh, GG. So let's go ahead and uh, boy acid gat the thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, j Dog. Okay. Okay, drunk donkey. I'll stay with you, and then uh, when we've got one zombie left, I'll go and get my perks. Sounds good to me, mate. Basically Breakfast. sit and do nothing. Exactly. Keep going. You got this, man. You got this. Uh, Breakfast. Pizza, I love your videos. Thank you, Breakfast. Hey. I appreciate that. You know whose videos I love? John's. Oh, <laughs> you got good John. taste. <laughs> That's what my wife says, dude. <laughs> she watches John's videos as well. <laughs> is this one of the final times we, we fly? The, the next fly is the final time. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta finish, yeah. We got to finish the golden spot before then. All righty. Oh, and right now I do actually have the first two weapons that I got from the mystery box again. Nice. So it's fully legit. Fully legit right here. Fully legit, boys. Greg's I Greg said I inside DSI is the best. Agree. Oh, there we go. Time. We got it. Samantha's nice. just lost. Um, you have an outie or an innie. You have an innie, right? You have an innie. A what? An innie or an outie belly button. I'm pretty sure you have an innie. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got a ninny. But how do you how do you remember that? I don't know. We've been swimming, and I have a pretty good memory when it comes to stuff. Like Wild, stuff. mate. I got an yeah. innie. Why? What have you got? I was, like, I was just envisioning what you look like when you're swimming. I was like, oh, it's an innie, hundred percent. I got an innie as well. Yeah, mate. Innie, innie, innie gang. Dude, let's see it inside the chat. Who's innie gang or who's outie gang? Let me see it. <laughs> oh, who's not got one, dude? My dad doesn't even have a belly button. What? I'm not even, like, yeah, dude. I don't know what they did when he was born to not give him a belly button, but it's just literally just flat. Like he doesn't have one. So, um, that yeah, is wait. nuts. I, yeah, I'm actually dude. really well. I'm not gonna ask. Can I can I see your dad's belly? But <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm kind of intrigued to see what that looks like. Yeah, next next time you see him, I, I can get him to show you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just normal, normal stuff. He <laughs> showed you on your belly, boy. <laughs> Ain't it crazy to think that we had like a cord attached to our bellies? Yeah, you just never think about this sort of thing, you know. Someone told me before. Let me try and read Whoa. this out. What they said. I um, got one the fuel can. They said, jump from ground floor to open spot to the left of Michigan Avenue sign. Is that right, Greg? Talking about this opening further left? Oh, no way. What? Wait, wait, no way. Did you know that? Wait, time? what? You can mantle? Since when? Now, this is what I love about the zombies community. And what Since I love about when could you do that? If you guys genuinely didn't know that you could mount on that before, go say thank you, Greg, in his YouTube comments. And leave a like on this video if you haven't already, okay? That is... I'm, my mind's blown. I'm, I'm literally speechless. <laughs> Mate, amazing. same. Dude, you know what makes it even better? The amount of hours and days Greg has spent on this. And he also only found this last week. That is... Yeah, that is wild. Greg, living the dream, my friend. Living the dream. John, should we go and ride the uh, plane? Yeah, do we need to do it a third time? Like, with the oh, gas? No. Or is this the final, final bit? Okay. All right, this is the final, final steps before we get to that egg. I can hear them. The numbers are going crazy. So we've got one, oh, oh, we yeah. nearly got that on a zero. One, oh, one. There we go. Three, eight, six. Three, eight, six. Eight, seven, two. Okay. Oh, then. I'm going resin you. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Eight, seven, two. All right. And finally. Four, eight, one. Four. Oh, I'm nearly about to go. Oh, yeah, you got me. Four, eight, four, one. Eight, one. And there we go. Yeah. You can revive me. Or I can revive oh, myself. God. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One of the coolest, coolest parts of any zombies Easter egg ever. Listen to the audio quality as well. It's so good. It's so engrossing. I love how the audio quality... Like degrades as well. Okay, let's go for the next one. Okay, John, uh, I have got a, I've had a request because this is going to be on your channel as well. Yes. That you do the classic garlic mixing it, mixing it, mixing it dab while you're on the plane. Okay. 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 <laughs> I think people really like the garlic dab. I've actually had this for like three days in my channel. Well. I'm sure someone will remember, but during Revelations Easter egg hunt, I was just doing that so much and people made some incredible remixes on Twitter. They were some of the funniest things. Right, going into Afterlife as well. I'm already on the plane with you. Okay, so per requested, mixing it and mixing it and mixing it and mixing it and boom. In 2020, lads, you really wanted the dab. Oh, the music. So beautiful. Oh man, I love it. I love it as well. So beautiful. Jeez, Treyarch, you beauties. Right. And look at us too, just chilling. Just chilling. Are you ready, John? Here it is. Who's going to win? John Here we go. or Pizza? Ooh. Now look. He See, he's no longer on my side. Oh, no. Oh, and he's no. got to deal with all of them. Enjoy my Brutus minions. No. Any moment. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, what, what gun are you using, by the way? I'm using the ray gun. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> At least give me a chance. At least give me a chance. I'm dodging you, mate. I'm dodging you. I'm dodging you. Mate, you're going to crash the game at this rate. Oh! I mean, you are definitely doing some you damage to me. Yet? You're definitely doing some damage. How are you not dead, mate? I, 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 I know. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, I'm red screen. No! Come on! Come on! Yeah! I 
got down by zombies, I think. I melee. I melee the golden spawn. I'm, you cheated. I'm calling. That was a cheat. Lads, I got cheated there. He killed me with a golden spawn. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's the year 2021. Black Ops 4 Zombies is suddenly loved again. And Blood of the Dead, is it really as bad of a map as we remember it to be? Well, we're going to find out in this video. We're going to go through the Easter egg. We're going to relook at everything about this map and really critique it for, you know, how it is three years later. I'd love to know what you think. We've always wanted a mob remaster ever since we got that in 2013. Five years it took for us to get this. And I don't know if it was what everyone wanted it to be. I think this map had such high expectations that it just... It was impossible for it to even hit those expectations. This really was about to be like guarded as like the biggest, the best zombies map ever created. Obviously, we know what happens, but I still think to this day, this is one of the best storytelling in a zombies map. And also comparing to the environments and the maps that we've gotten in Cold War, um, this really is such a, an amazing map where the, the environment really has a story to tell in its own right. You just feel like you're immersed in the world. Another thing as well is we are playing this on hardcore difficulty. I didn't even mention that in the intro but yeah we're back to the launch version of black ops 4 where you only had 150 health we've got no jug let's see what this is gonna be like yes i do know that i started this thing on hardcore difficulty yes i just I to... noticed that <laughs> because i wanted my, my friend mr john to have a uh, an extremely difficult day today on a map that he doesn't exactly love so you know i wanted to rub his face there a little bit all right i gotta say though this map is beautiful. You can say whatever you want about what they did with this map, but it is a beautiful map. There is no denying it. It is absolutely beautiful. I'd even argue to say that the graphics on Black Ops 4 are in some ways better than Cold War. I, I really would say that. So right now we are doing the three monkey bomb Easter egg. And again, it's just little things like that. You see a monkey just staring out there. You've got to get kills with your special weapon and then shoot it and it's disappeared. And someone can go to the spawn and get some free monkeys, which is nuts. Pick up monkey. I'm picking up the monkey. So you see, we've got the walnut. Can we teleport the walnut? Yep. There it is. That's one thing that I'll give Trout credit for. The amount of little nods to previous stuff in this map is insane. Like you've got that, which is a moon reference. You've got Victus frozen here. The fact that we had this from day one, that we could look at Victus and it was teased right in front of our faces that one day we'd actually get to play as them again. Let's go. We got the blunder cat. Oh my God. Hell to the yeah. Let's go ahead. And uh, I think I can just magma get it straight away. Right, I just I just hit the box and I got the blunder cat. Mm, okay. I can I can Let's already go. get the magma gat. No, I think you've still got to get the souls, don't you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I've just put it in the forge and wow. they they be uh they be making it the magma gat. I did not know that. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're ready for step one of the Easter egg. So with the spork, you hit it. And then we got to get our good old Brutus to then go ahead and smash down this wall. So let's hope we can get this first time. It's been a long time since I've done this egg. Here we go. Come on. Without death to okay, there we and go. Then come down. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll go up in here. Yeah, we go. Hey, about time. We finally done it. So this is one of the coolest parts of the map. Without question, the Warden's Ritual Chamber. When you want to unlock this, the effects on this, like, it's still amazing that this happens inside of the game. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Look at the smoke coming off him. It looks incredible. Next step right here is with the precious... Cronorium. Just go and hold interact on that. And I love this sequence so much, man. Because it all revolves around the mobsters from Mob of the Dead. Like, the story is beautiful. Where's the bird? There he is. There he is. There's our favorite. The thing is, the execution of this is beautiful. But the actual step, there's like 60 locations for this bird, which is just dumb. I still, to this day, I don't like this step. I don't like it. So after so much setup, we're finally going to start the main parts of the Easter egg now. So you have to go find the bird, which pizza did. And then the last one, you need to get the zombie blood. And then you need to get the cronorium from the bird and put it in the warden's office. And then we can actually start the egg, which is the five different challenges. All right, you're coming over with me, John. We're taking this dog. We're going to kill it inside the cafeteria. Oh, yes. This is how we do it. See, without you, I genuinely wouldn't know what to do here. <laughs> is it just killing it? That's all. Yeah. Where is he? Where's Ghosty? Yeah. Right, all you oh. about Magma Gat, man. Okay, just here we go. I love this step, though. This step is so sick. I'll try and worry, out as we go along. Don't you worry, bro. You got this, Chief. You got this, Chief. I forgot as well, we're you playing hardcore. 
I need all the luck. I need all the luck. I've got half the ammo left. You got this. You got this. It's all oh, we you. got this. We got this. In the bag, mate. In the bag. Oh, look at that. You got the specialist there as well. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I believe in you, ghosty. Let's go! <laughs> I love this step. Oh, you made a video on the backstory of this step, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so cool. So cool. So what happened? There was like a there was a prisoner in Alcatraz that just was notorious for playing the banjo. It was Al Capone. It was Al Capone. Oh, yeah. And then in, the, in the in the Alcatraz uh, band, they had a band, and Al Capone played the banjo. And uh, he was all. He also, while he was in Alcatraz, he shanked a guy in the showers, and that's why this ghost is in the showers with a banjo. Wow, the more you know. Legit, <laughs> yeah. look at that. And you've got the banjo on your back there. It's just about getting kills in this little circle. It is indeed. See, with the Mark II, like, we were straight sailing in this map. No worries at all. Yeah, it's, it's a nice addition to the game. I think a lot of people don't even know it's on the map. Oh, yeah, because the they, they added it really late, and I don't really yeah. get why. It was just when Alpha Omega came out. He's done. Hey, look, you got that lovely little tune at the end. Oh, we get an insta kill as well. There you go. And that's it done. This is giving us the easiest challenges so far. Yeah, we need a shock box for the next one. So, fingers crossed we find some more. Okay, we've oh, got the, uh, we have a uh, Morse oh, code yeah, step, Morse code. which is Good. awesome because I want to show this on video is how you actually do it. You see the boat, like we were all just, you know, uh, guessing it. And it's yeah. like, we don't even need to do that anymore. But to explain this step, there's a Morse code step. And for like at least two and a half years, no one realized that there was actually like a way for the map to tell you how to do it before it was just trial and error work. But there's like a, a floating boy that flashes Morse code and it links directly to this step. See, I, I don't mind this step. I think it's quite, quite cool. So this step, we just kill a zombie here and it, and then it spawns in, spawns in and, then ghosty. It, and then you interact with him. There you Come go. On, Mr. And ghosty. Now he's active and ready to go. And he will only move from you, right? Because you interacted with him. Zombie kills. Zombie oh yeah, zombie kills, kills get him moving. Well, it's time to get the Helion out. So now with this step, we are escorting this lad to the docks and it's such a cool Easter egg because if you see, you can see the massive invisible boat that the ghost is going to be boarding. Um, it's just so cool. Like the idea that we're helping out loads of different mobsters on the map. I can appreciate from a story perspective how cool that is. That this all works like that and there we go he's boarded his boat and uh, he's gone so now we've got one more easter egg step to go okie dokie all right again in the last step let's kill the zombie now i'm gonna shock him there we go and i'm gonna start sucking him sucking him with the key oh god sucking him down no no all right he's gone my boy's gone. Nice. Right, Undead Man is on. Oh, I found a shot box. Freaking what a yeah, time to be alive. Yeah, let's go. Man. What a time to be alive and find a shot box there. Suck up. <laughs> I'm next to the ghost. He's incoming. Get ready with that. Should I put the trap? Yep. There you go. He's got it. He's got it. He timed it perfectly. And there we go. Step's done. And he dropped it. Look, he dropped a little little bead. He did. I'm going to pick it up. There you go. And there we go. Is that, that's all our challenge is done, right? It is. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, we're getting near the end. All right, so with all the, the pain and suffering of this Easter egg quest, we're finally here for the ending. This is one of the best sequences I think there's ever been in Zombies history, in all of Call of Duty. It's just it's just so good. It's just so much effort to get to this. But man, this cutscene, this whole sequence here, it still blows my mind that this is inside of a Zombies map. Like, it's not a pre-rendered cutscene. This is all in-game. Absolutely love it. And then we get this incredible sequence here where we're locked inside of a jail cell. Like, dude, why don't we get stuff like this anymore? It's just so cool. I wish that we got something like this again. This is just so freaking good. Unfortunately, it's never going to happen because the community thought this was trash. I don't understand it. I don't get how that you could think that this whole last part of this map is story telling map gameplay perfection the only thing i wish about this map is that the boss fight would have been better it's just not the best boss fight yeah it is like they put all the effort into this part then when it got to the boss they were like ah nah where's the bird come save us dude i, I love the people said this was i love that people said this was trash um 
to, to those people that said this was trash, that made uh, that said this entire game was trash, and therefore the the budget for zombies was cut for what that Activision did. I, I hope you're really enjoying Vanguard Zombies, my guys. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. that goes out to anyone that said this game was trash. Yeah, let's go grab um, our stuff, retrieve huge, our equipment. Huge, huge budget loss, dude. I instructed to put the bag and I didn't get anything. Did you not get your stuff back? No. What? Look! <laughs> I, I think it's because I, I ran past it. You'll get it back. Yeah, you'll get it back. There you go. I was going to say, imagine you, you didn't get, get you it don't back. You didn't get it back in the boss fight. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Get back in your cell! No. How about no? Right, remember, we need shots, so uh, try and get some dogs. Yep, now. yep. It's always the best time to do it. In hindsight, they, they should have put like a way to build it in the boss fight or something. Oh, mate, yeah, Even or like a like bench that has it built. Like, come on. Yeah, Maybe not just there and that easy, but you know, some 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 way that you can get it back in in some way. I don't know. Yeah, I completely agree. Oh look, there he is, the man himself, Big Brutus. Oh, Big Chungus. Now this is a beautiful moment because this is the full mobsters from Mob of the Dead that just yeet him out into the sky, and they drop that. So now let's go ahead and activate this. We've got all of the things now. To reveal to reveal the secrets of this map i just and everything about this is just so sick and we all know who's in there we all know who's in there all right boss fight time let's go there we go hold to proceed you won't come back from this oh we just lost the max ammo from the dog it's the round switch all right i'll get i'll get these dogs to make some shots why not yeah this this boss fight seems incredible on paper but it's just not quite what it should be. I love that we've done this on hardcore mode. When I asked, when I said we'll do this today, and I went, oh, we'll do hardcore mode. You're like, oh, really? Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> God, no, no way. But we've absolutely, like, we even gone down. I don't, yeah, you I might have gone down once. once. That's it. Really even cool. I've not gone down. Yeah, which is it's impressive good. for me. Just a case of killing loads and loads of dogs and brutus so that we get to the next step. Oh, there we go. I don't... I don't remember he, Brutus saying all this stuff before when I last played. You know? Nah. And now you shot that, and then boom, there we go. At least they give you a carpenter if your shield is yeah, looking bad. Good. Oh, we got the bot in. Serrano. Mate, what? He just picked up the Max Ammo and the carpenter. What if we weren't ready? Hey, go on, my, go on, my guy. There he goes. <laughs> and there we go. He's in. The cutscene. I'm excited about the cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I want to watch that whole cutscene in full. Oh, there's Super Brutus. Oh, I don't know if he's conf he's very confused. I think he's finally making his way up, but he was his, stood there for a hot minute. Come on. There he is. Open the door. There he is. Go off, my guy. Go off. There he is. Woo! It's okay. so sick, man. How was this game even called Jack? I know. It's a lot of work to get to this point, but it's worth it. Right. There we go. <laughs> Mark 2 just destroyed that <laughs> Woohoo! Here it is. Blood of the Dead. With this incredible ending, my face cam's frozen at the perfect point, which is fantastic. So we're just going to narrate this without without face cam. But it, man, what a beautiful, beautiful cutscene. Sing. They are free. That's swell. My first time completing this on PC win? as well. <laughs> <laughs> what an achievement. God, I would love to just get cutscenes like this again. No budget for that, man. The best we're getting is a helicopter ex on, uh, evacuate. I know. <laughs> Terrible. Like the graphics in this was ju that's just amazing. The amount of money spent on this is so Martin. insane. Don't get me wrong. Some of the cutscenes in Cold War do look good, but I, I feel like... There's just not as much love and attention put to them as in these. Oh. Ma Mauer de Toten's ending, like, I swear Kravchenko's voice lines don't yeah. even match up with his mouth. Man, if I, I could have a time machine to go back to 2018 sword. seeing this for the first time. Yeah. But I'm not. I think we still got Ricky, though. He's planning some weird stuff in Cold War 2. Yeah, I couldn't care less. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm excited, <laughs> man. I mean, I would love to. I would love to be excited. This is just like pure. Like I'm purely excited about this at the time, and now I'm just excited because there's a character that I used to like in it. I mean, that's one way to look at it. I don't want to get down, but you know. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. I just love how there's just like silence and it's just yeah. it's motionless, and then you just get the lightning. Oh, so good. 
Big up Serrano oh. with the one kill. Thank you, Serrano. We love that. Did we he love kill, that for that you. Him killing himself. How did he get one kill? He got one kill. Do bot? Does the bot normally kill? No. He killed a, one zombie with the welling. That's quite impressive. That's incredible. Maybe I'm around 26. <laughs> <laughs> the starting weapon. I know. <laughs> Now, you thought the video was going to win there, didn't you? Since Mob and Blood are Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4. So many people back in the day wanted to see a mob remaster for Zombies Chronicles. And obviously, that never happened in Chronicles, but it did happen on Black Ops 3 if you have a PC. Thanks to Mod Tools and the community, this is Mob Remastered in Black Ops 3. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the remaster we've all been waiting to see. Mob of the Dead Remastered. With me, I'm a boy codenamed Pizza. What up? And oh, here we go. I gotta admit, this looks quite nice in Black Ops 3. One thing yeah. that frustrates me so much, John, and I reckon once I point this out, you're gonna hate it as well. Yeah. The bottom right uh, thing in the corner of the screen where you had like the hood with all your stuff, it just looks slightly stretched up. You know what I mean? Like it just looks slightly, just slightly stretched. Of all the things to critique in a zombies <laughs> map. Every time I play this map, all I see is that slightly stretched. You sound like every comment section about Black Ops 4 <laughs> zombies. Man, we still aren't over that. <laughs> But this is pretty much what Mob of the Dead would be like if Treyarch went ahead and remastered it um, identically to the version in Black Ops 2. I'm like it. I've never played this, considering it's been out for like a year, two years. All right, about to see my first doggo in Black Ops 3. You've got the 20 point Easter egg. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, man, that's so, that's awesome. Man, they really got it all in here. They really do. There's the doggo. He looks great. Does. Okay, I'm just gonna buy the B23R <laughs> off the wall. Always a safe so bet. Lovely, jubbly. But let us know in the comments section what game would you rather see this on? BO3 or BO4? I'm pretty cool. Or BO5. Oh, or you BO5. Know what? Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> BO. What we should do? Should BO3, 4, or 5? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, let's do that then. Because I think I think if we could get an official remaster right now, I think a lot of people would say BO3. Oh yeah, of course. BO3 is like, I mean, it's just flawless, to be honest. I mean, but. how hard, apart from the licensing of the characters' voices, how hard would it actually be to get the remaster in BO4? We've already got Blood of the Dead. Oh, they would have, they would have to change a few things and put the Easter egg. Yeah, they would literally have to cut some of the map out, and that's it. I mean, visually, Blood of the Dead looks really nice. Oh, agree. Like, agree, it looks yeah. in incredible. But yeah, th this just... Uh, there's just something about this. It hits different, you know? Dude, dude, BO3 just feels perfect. I always say it's like the pinnacle of zombies. Like, they made the best zombies experience with BO3. And hopefully they bring that magic back with BO5, man. I, I hope. really hope so as well. One thing that I want your chat to let us know as well is everyone goes on about Mob of the Dead Remastered. But if we could pick something that's not yet been remastered, so Transit, Die, Rise, or Buried, you had to pick one, what would you pick? Oh, that's a very good question. And you know what? Oh, yeah. I might go ahead and answer this as well because okay. I'm, I'm very interested in that question and i mean for me it's got to be transit wow i thought you were gonna say buried but i agree with you on that transit would be great yeah it's very tricky oh my god afterlife this looks so good no i'd definitely say transit just because yeah. it's got so much uh untouched potential exactly is that, that's is that the, the right word for failed. it it wasn't ready. The, the, the game the game consoles at the time weren't ready for something that size. And now we are. We can handle that. Exactly. And with the next gen literally around the corner, it could handle so much more than that. It's actually quite mad when you play like older zombies games and you realize how difficult that was. Oh yeah, we had it way too easy on BO3. 100%. Like, like I remember, uh, and this is not even like a flex or anything. The first oh, yeah. time I met Jason Blundell at, at Gamescom Germany, me and Milo, we had a very long conversation, many hours, many miles walked talking. And uh, one question we asked is like, why did you change the, uh, the hit system from two to three? Because at the time you're like, what? That's going to make it way too easy because we've gotten so used to, you know, one hit and oh my God, I'm about to die. But... Uh, yeah, they, I'm so happy they've done that. Oh yeah, definitely. Because it's like 
crazy difficult otherwise. Exactly, and then we got the shock of our lives when we played BO4 for the first time at that reveal event. Realized there was no jug and the health was capped to 150. So three hits with no jug. Unreal. I can't believe that was that was gonna be a thing. Yeah, and the tigers were one hit as well. well oh my god. And, and the blood of the dead dogs. There'd just oh, be yeah. like 50 billion of them. Oh man, I'm telling you what, guys. You, you might be jealous when we go to some recording events, but that one, that, that was painful. That yeah. was very painful that, to go and play that one. Yeah, that was not the way you want to play zombies, ladies oh, and gentlemen. No. You got the mark too. I do, first out of the box. <laughs> Whoa, okay, well, we're completing this Easter egg first time. Okay, we're starting up the washing machine. I love it. Oh, yes. I hit the box once and I got a Barrett. 50 cow. <laughs> Dude, I always thought there was something wrong with that in BO2. It just never seemed to hit wherever I wanted it to hit. I, you know, like, I do kind of know, I kind of can sympathize with you. I do kind yeah. of feel what you're on about there. You know what? Yeah. I'm actually very yeah, impressed with this map so far. I know this custom map remake gets a lot of stick. It has a very weird history, which we won't go into, but mm. I've never properly played this and I'm so far really enjoying it because it's it feels refreshing because it, it's like I am playing Mob of the Dead, no doubts about that, but it looks yep. different, it feels a bit different, um, and overall I'm really enjoying this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the, uh, open up to the roof, is that alright? Yeah, go for it, we need to start building a plane, so yeah. Oh yeah, we do. I've got some parts. I know you said that you didn't want to speak about the history of this map, but I think we should go into it a little bit. Okay, Just a yeah. a little bit. Yeah, let's inform, inform you guys a little bit. So, I know this has been in the works for a very long time. Oh yeah, very, very long time. We're talking like before before we even got the comic book. Oh, before JC's Reveal of Chronicles. Yeah. They were telling us about the lab. So that was an extra thing they added in after that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah much as soon as Mod Tools came out, the guy started working on this. Um, and he just completely disappeared off the face of the earth as soon as he released it. I don't think anyone knows what yeah, he's no, doing. Yeah, no one him. knows why he disappeared, where he's gone. But yeah, he created this and then kind of just, yeah, left. Quite a big deal. All right, second dog done, dude. And we've got a lot of zombies down there. Lots and lots of zombies. Okay, will it let me build? There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it is a three hit. It's a three hit okay. system. Okay, so good, good stuff. So we've still got what we got. Uh, three more parts to go and get. We gotta go down together to the docks to get those other two. I'm gonna hit the box once more because my oh, guns are pretty bad. Let's get there the blunder gap. If we if we don't get it, we'll get it for free in a bit. But come on. Oh, definitely, definitely get it for free from these way. <laughs> oh, the pal. Okay, let, let's see. Let's for see my box. Old the time's sake. Too, and I've got. What is this man getting? Okay, yes, executioner. Me. It's all right. You want to open up all those stuff and I'll, I'll go down and get the numbers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Got the number nine, number two, and the number five. Ooh, nine? Almost nine through close, five. Let me, let me open that for you. There you go. Thank you, sir. You nine are very two, welcome. Five. Oh, this is looking different. Oh, insta-kill as well. Hang on, let me... Swing back through and grab that. Nice. Lovely. All right, I'm opening this door here. All right. Nice. Okay, no, I'll no. go and you go into afterlife, and I'll go and open this view and get the two things. Turn off the power, and also come and shove this so I can pick up this piece. Okay. It's all you, J Dog. Oh God, no pressure. Are you doing jug as well? You doing yeah. all three? Yeah, of course, man. We need jug. It's a big play. Big okay, play. jug is on. Coming to the part now. Good luck. There's a lot of zombies, by the way. I can see. I've got my Reagan Mark too, Michael. We're all good. Okay. Nice. I got it. Let me out. Okay. Nice. There you okay. go. We're free. We're free. All right. And now one last thing in here. Oh my god. I've still got half left, so we we Gucci. Pretty pretty Gucci. And that Fine. box is done. Can all right. I've still got a little bit of time left. Easy. Now I've got a, I've saved a crawler for you. Okay. Save the crawler because I want to show you something. Right. So okay. Come, come with me. Come with me. Okay. This is special. Ready? This is very yeah. special. Come over here. Look in that box. Oh my God! He's got his own <laughs> Easter egg, lads. <laughs> Codename piece of that is sick. Oh my God. 
<laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, dude. <laughs> these dogs, why do they take? Do they take eight zombies or six? I think it's six. I mean, you should know, and I should, should know. know. If you were asked that in a trivia quiz, what would you say? Uh, I'd say, uh, I'd say six. I think six sounds right, yeah. And then you get six souls for each dog, which would be six, six, six. It would make sense. That, right? that is Treyarch logic right there. Exactly. And these dogs are technically the dogs from... Oh, we're, cool. they, we're done, baby. I think we're all done. Let's go again. I need to get a job real quick. I wonder how we... If you can even upgrade the tomahawk on this, because it's not red. It just shows up as blue already. Oh, yeah. That's very true. I mean, we don't need it, right? No, we don't. But you've got okay. two blue skulls to get definitely down there as well. All right, I gotta. Is my memory gonna be good? Is it? Is it that one? Yes. There Remember it is. that's one. We've still got the hardest one to get. Oh as well. man, the hardest one by Juggernog. Oh, yeah. if I get this first time, lads, we need some <laughs> absolute thumbs up spammed on the video if you've not oh, already yeah. dropped one. Okay, so it's that little light up there. Here we go. Oh, I missed. It's because you didn't click the thumbs up, all right? Got it. Oh, I was throwing it at the complete wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> what were you throwing it? I was throwing it at the lamp. Oh my God, no wonder I weren't getting it. There you go. My stupid ass didn't even know which one to throw it at. Shows how many times I've done that. Very excited to grab this blunder gap. May I add? Oh, that's a bit of a different animation. You Is go it? in the room and you sort of get hurt a little bit and then it just slowly rises out from the table. Ooh. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, I'll grab, I'll grab the final part to the acid kit. And we can oh, yes. Well. I was just about to say that. You took the words straight out of my mouth. It was so good. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, well, they they wanted the magma gut just to shine. Kind of they just killed my boy. Oh, man, right. look at that. That looks sick. It looks just like just like in BO2. All right, mate. Oh, here look we go. There it, there it is. There it is. And look at that zombie behind us. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Dude, it's good because we save one zombie when we get over to the other area. As soon as we get back, kill one zombie onto the next round, we can do the plane again. Oh, Perfect. beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Perfect. man, this is different. This is wild. Oh, okay. Straight to the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> different angle. Different angle. different angle. Oh my god, okay, we hit a power line. Oh my god, that looks bad. <laughs> 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 Is it always like that? Yeah, every oh single Oh my time. god. <laughs> that was uh, different. <laughs> it's definitely the, the, the weirdest looking bit of the oh entire Oh my region. god. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> oh jeez, he just bonked me straight. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I just killed... I just killed one with just the uh, tomahawk. Oh, the nostalgia. I'm being hit with it right now. Because when you've not played like a map like this for a while, you just sort of forget some of those very obvious things. What is up with Brutus? <laughs> there he is. Crazy. He is so confused. <laughs> oh, we got two. We do have two. <laughs> they're doing, like chasing each they're other. doing laps. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I, I'm, I'm fine with this. Oh, there we go. there's the that, laugh. That's so funny, dude. What the hell? Are you? Where are they going? They just ran up the stairs. Not where are they going? <laughs> what? What is going on? <laughs> My boy's just running for the hills. Throw the tomahawk. Throw the, throw the tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there it is. Here we go. It's, it just spanned the bathtub round with blood. It's going so slow. Okay, we've got another laugh. Oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Well, we've got to go and collect our plane parts as things this round stuff. So I'll go to the docks anyway, since I need to get jug. Exactly. I'll get the washing machine first. And this will be the ending of okay. the Easter egg, boys. It will be the ending of the Easter egg, but we do have one more thing that we need to do before we end the match. And what is that? That would be Rick Toffin's secret laboratory. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but 50 grand, that's, that's a well, lot. Well, I've just realized it's actually 30, so I've been oh. saving points. Oh, again. I like the way you <laughs> think. Okay. Ah, I hit my head, where am I? Dude, imagine if Modern Warfare made this a gunfight map. Oh, that'd be so sick. That would be so, awesome. Oh, well, here we go. Let's go and have a look. And the toughest secret laboratory. This little gate here. Oh, let's call the elevator. This is 
mad. I don't think anyone expected to actually spawn in his secret lab in a no. remake. <laughs> oh, definitely not. I thought everyone just assumed it'd be an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, dude. Oh, we're tripping everywhere. Ooh, here we go. Now, this is pretty damn sick. Oh, the music. The sound. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, you got to unlock it and then buy it. Blasphemy. No, I, I think you just. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Brutus got busy down here. But yeah, you can see the Richtofen head, which never made it onto the map, which is nuts. The crew in its cryostasis. But someone's Look. escaped. Oh, have they? They have. Has he? In the second one. Naughty lad. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. This is still really cool considering this came out uh, about at least a year before Black Ops 4 came out. Very, I mean, very I think cool. they should have put something more in it than just a stamina up for 30,000 points. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll still hand it to him. It's still pretty cool. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready for the 1v1. For the to type in the prisoner number. Gotta okay. type those in. Are you sure so you know them? To do the we, yeah, we need to save one zombie because the round just flipped. And oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. We're just getting straight <laughs> into it. Oh, I love this step still after all these years. It's so nice. Okay, so now we got to go down, right? That's it. Here we go. I'm on. I thought we just had to jump straight onto it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, baby. I'm waiting for that music. It's so good. Oh, we don't get it? Oh, Dude, no sucks. music. Okay, I'll do it. That actually sucks, dude. That was yeah. the best. It was all extra. The atmosphere. Oh, man. He can revive themselves first. Okay, here we go. All right. Pack a punch him real quick. And raise a rebel yell. There's lots of bad ads out there. You need to send a hell. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Are you trying to kill me with grenades? <laughs> I'm trying to pack a punch by whatever weapon I'm <laughs> Okay, there you go. It's got the kill. Got the kill on there. Okay. <laughs> How are you gonna kill me? What's your goal? Uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of thirst. Okay. So one v one, ladies and gentlemen. What are you gonna use? I wanna be very tactical here. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh, are you gonna try shield me? <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. No, I'm, I'm gonna going make sure that. Why are the zombies Two. not going for you? What? Uh, I didn't even get a shield. <gasps> oh! oh knockout! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That is Double so sick. Knockout. Yo, oh we killed each other at the same time. If you guess that that was going to be the outcome, you deserve a cookie right now. If you guys did not expect that, you got to leave a like right now. Now, the video is not over there. You thought with Blood of the Dead, it ended there. But technically, there are a few more versions of Mob of the Dead in Call of Duty. And we're starting it off with one of two. And to anyone that's played Warzone and Rebirth Island, it should look very, very familiar. But this is the original version of Rebirth Island. This is Alcatraz in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Now, I know it's not zombies, but technically, this is a remastered version of Mob of the Dead. And Mob of the Dead, without it, would not have this at all. And this is basically a big portion of Blood of the Dead, but also a lot of areas that were never part of the Blood of the Dead map, which is just insane. And this mode and map right here, Blackout walked so that Warzone could run. Like, there's no doubt about it. Without this, we would have no rebirth. Oh my god. No. This is my first time playing Blackout in, like, I don't know, two years at least. As this is Alcatraz Portal Quads, you die a few times, and unlike with uh, Rebirth, we just get straight redeployed. You actually come out of portals, which is really, really strange. Now, I don't have much hope that we will actually win this game, but we can absolutely try. But for anyone that's familiar with Rebirth, which I'm sure most of you watching are, this is exactly the same as Rebirth. I spotted it. There we go. We spotted a guy running in the distance. As long as he doesn't see me, we should be good. Uh-oh. Oh, the shotgun always wins, baby. Now, Blackout is just so weird. It's so weird playing this after Warzone. Uh oh, I hear, I hear footsteps. It's just so weird. Like, normally, you just fix your armor plates up like normal, but 
not in this game. I was crazy after seeing this in Black Ops 4, the same game that has Black, same game that has Blood of the Dead. It's like, why, how could we not get a zombies map that was as big as this, you know? Because this proves that we actually could have got Blood of the Dead at this sort of size, which is insane. Yeah, you see that mystery box light? That means that there are zombies nearby. And if you kill all the zombies, you can get what's in the mystery box, but man. Look, you can see the zombie there in the jail cell. This is so cool. I honestly forgot they did this. And look, we've got wall buys from Chaos. Now, the real key here is to kill all the zombies, right? Where are they? Oh my god, there's one. If we can at least kill all the zombies and get the rewards from the mystery box, then I think we've achieved this video. This really is as close as you get to zombies in Warzone. Like, come on. I just love that there's zombies stuck in the jail cells. It's like... It's so comical. I spot another zombie in this jail cell. See you later, buddy. In terms of Mob of the Dead, like, look. The OG spawn room of Mob of the Dead. Just just right here in its full glory. And then we've got the showers, which just looks so bare bones compared to what we're used to. I definitely much prefer how Warzone has it because it's just system of going through the inventory is so fiddly. Oh my God, it's all going down in here. It's all going down. Oh my God, no. There's only one teammate left. I think that's it. That's all she wrote. You've been eliminated, but the squad is still in the fight. I, I doubt we'll be in it for much longer. But here we can see the map. So like, just to put into perspective, this is Blood of the Dead, the cell house. We've got the warden's house and new industries. And that's it. Was this adds model, powerhouse, officers club, a submarine, which came in DLC, the docks. Well, we got the docks as well. There's much bigger parade grounds and shipwreck. This is as close to the actual Alcatraz as you will possibly get in Call of Duty. And here we end the video by looking at the most recent version of Alcatraz, which is indeed Rebirth Island, which is pretty much a war zone version of what we just looked at in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Like it is identical, but it's without question the best looking version of Alcatraz that we'll probably ever get until Treyarch gives us another remake of something related to Mob of the Dead. And because this is in Warzone, it's such a like iconic part of the game now that like you don't think of it and think of like Mob of the Dead or <laughs> even Black Ops 4's Alcatraz. Like you're just like, yeah, this is Rebirth. It's funny because at first when this came out, I think people would argue that it was quite underwhelming to finally get a new Warzone map and it was this, but like this plays so much differently to Verdansk that it's a very nice change of pace and I think this will be in the game forever. And whilst this looks almost identical to what we just looked at in Black Ops 4, this has got a lovely Cold War theming aesthetic. You've got the, the Russian stuff and it just looks great. And I love that throughout like the year of Rebirth, they updated the lighting and made it look so much better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you prefer? This or or Black Ops 4's Blackout Alcatraz. And let me know if any of you watching this actually played Alcatraz in Blackout, because some of you probably haven't and maybe have never seen it before. That was a look at every version of Mob inside of one video. Really hope you enjoyed it. It's quite a long one, but hopefully you stuck through to the end to check out all of it because it was really, really good. If you want to see more content like this, then please support it by dropping a thumbs up. It's really, really important. But you can see another one of my videos on your screen right now. I'll see you then in just a few moments.